Well, Saturday morning, headed out for another adventure. Looks like we got some snow coming down. I didn't expect it to snow last night. I know it's supposed to snow tomorrow, Monday, and Tuesday, but we got like an inch or two so far. I'm headed to a spot I've been a few times. Hopefully I pick up some deer sheds, maybe some elk sheds, so stay tuned. About an hour. Got some super fresh little crap right there. Came around this little bush. Our first old. Did I mention it was old? Super old shit. But that's the first one of the day. It's a good sign. Just doing some scouting too while we're out here. Get that strapped on the pack and maybe we'll turn something else out here in the cedars. Alright, I think I got a tip of a broken arrowhead right here. Pretty crude, but it's definitely what it is. Let's see what else we can turn up in here. watching this bald eagle fly around and I look down and I see a raghorn or a deer shed down at the bottom so I'm gonna hike over here go down pick that up and then probably hike out up that part where those trees are uh, you might be able to see this thing now it's in the wide open Binos on and see what it is. It's either a deer shed or the smallest oak shed ever. I'm just getting down here. Should be able to see this thing. Hopefully, it's just hard wide or a brown from 2020. Not choppy. Sorry about the wind. If the audio is bad, it's super windy today. Just happened to look over and we got our third shed of the day. So hopefully I can find some more right in here somewhere. Looks like two years old maybe. Definitely white, but let's get it picked up and see what else we can pick up today. All right, I almost stepped on this thing. You can see a broken point in my boot track right there. been a pretty decent one it's not out of flint I'm not sure what kind it is but kind of serrated on the sides the tip and the base is busted might have been busted by cattle I'm not sure I'm gonna see if I can find the base here all right Doug just dropped me off he's driving the Ranger but right, I think I've got a shed glassed up a couple hundred yards up this ridge I hope it's the right ridge 
I'm gonna try to go pick it up. It's the first deer shed we've ever found down here in the desert country. I glassed it up, so hopefully I find it and maybe something else. I think I got it spotted over here. So I gotta keep my eyes peeled. You see just the tip of it sticking up right there. There might be another one in here. It's probably just a little two point, but I don't care. That would mean he'd probably hanging out in here with the does on the shed if it was a little two point. Be a three. <laughs> Barely a three. Look at that little crab claw. It's actually amazing that I glassed that. Let me show you. <sighs> okay. So that far ridge back there is where I glassed that from. Pretty amazing. You can see the road going up that ridge line. I glassed it from right over there. I'm gonna loop around a little bit, see if I can find the other side. Looks like a brown from last year. Pretty cool. Well, let's see what else we can turn up. All right, we're just hiking up this little trail. Starting to see our first walls, window. Well, these are almost still intact. You can see the old log that's on the top of them. You can see the old roof line still intact. That used to be a window that they closed off, looks like. Super short. Obviously, people are writing their names in here. The side's caved in, but it's on a different level. There's a lot of fill in that one. There's the old roof support right there. Pretty rare to see the roof line still here. I bet this side's just as deep, almost. I do think it was on a different level. There's another little door, maybe a, a ventilation. Cool. Been here for hundreds and hundreds of years, if not just over a thousand. The roof's gone on this one. Probably caved in long ago. Way too much like a point. Oh, yeah. Just a preform or something. It's not really worked on this side. It's too bad it wasn't nicer. So far, I haven't found any full points, but I got another broken preform or early knife handle or something. So 
So hopefully I turn up something nice. I picked up a preform right there. I might have a busted. Busted point right here. Yep, snapped. Not super nice. I think it might be petrified wood. But it looks like it broke off on the bottom. But starting to pick up. Let's see what else we can turn up. Well, just out here after work, looking for stuff that got missed. I think I see some tines sticking up right by this bush. Looks at least like a four point. Oh, that's a nice five point. Heck yeah, look at that shed. That's a nice deer shed. bit cracked up. I think that's last year's brown. Hopefully I can match that thing up. I'm sure some other people have been out here before. It's late in the season. It's almost the start of the new shed season. This is my best deer shed so far of 2021. Alright, I got some picks. Hey, he's a little bit cracked out on this side. Still kind of brown on this side. Definitely a brown from last year. It's almost a year old at this point. It'd be nice if we could match this buck up. Check out that bad boy. Well, I thought this was a bone. <laughs> but that's a spike shed. Super old chalky one. So I just got this deer shed and now this little tiny chalk spike. But not bad for after work, just heading back to the truck. Should be back in another 15, 20 minutes. Thanks for watching this week's video, guys. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, you can click right here on this icon, be subscribed. If you missed our previous two weeks videos, you can click in the corners here, get caught up on those videos. As always, share this with your friends and family. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll catch you guys on the flip side.